The early work in social cognition compared the social judgments made by people to the judgments that you'd expect from a rational model of inference. So, a rational model of inference would predict that we systematically combine the information that we have access to when arriving at a social judgment. It's perhaps not surprising that making this comparison shows us that people make a lot of errors and have biases when they make their social judgments. In particular, there's evidence that we use a range of mental shortcuts that are less time-consuming strategies to get a quick solution to a problem. These shortcuts are called heuristics, and they're generally functional. We don't always have time or motivation to think every judgment through in full. Sometimes, however, the quick solution suggested by the shortcut is inaccurate because the general rule does not apply to every specific judgment. The first heuristic that we're going to talk about is called the availability heuristic. This is when people judge an event's frequency by the ease with which they can bring examples of the event to mind. So let's try some examples to illustrate how this heuristic works. In this activity, I'm going to ask you to think about a few different questions and then decide what is the most likely thing to happen. You'll be able to record your responses in the activity that follows this video. The first question is, is it more likely that a word in the English language starts with the letter R, such as rabbit, or has R in the third position, such as march? To help you answer this question, try to think of some examples of words with R in the first position and some examples of words with R in the third position. The second question is, which is more likely to kill someone, a smoking-related illness or a car-related accident? When answering this question, don't think about whether you smoke or not, or drive or not, but rather what is the risk posed by each of these to the population as a whole. Next, what animal kills the most people per year in the world? Check the options in the activity and select one of those animals. Finally, what causes the largest number of deaths per year in Australia? Is it shark attacks, floods, cyclones, ocean rips or bushfires? Okay. Make sure you record your answers in the activity that follows.